coffee break. So welcome back. Um, this session is going to be diving into forms a little bit more because to make the best out of Axure as a muscle tool, you need to know all the ins and outs. And in previous video, I showed you how our prototype right now has this selection and choose one of the options, either submit the link for a server or Google Drive and then has one field to input the value. Now, ideally, you would want to make it contextual, meaning if the user wants to submit something by a link, let's say, or, or upload a file, let's say, they would have different types of outcomes fading in and out. And that is really common in, you know, nowadays modern UI where the forms are flexible enough to adapt to a functional and, and uncontextual requirement. So let's try to kind of like build it up from scratch. As you remember, I have this dynamic panel. Again, you can start from scratch. You don't have to um, kind of bundle it up in a dynamic panel, but just for the sake of it, I will. Imagine that one of the options user would select is submit a link. Now it doesn't have to be this. It could be that you have, I've seen some UIs where you, uh, prototypers would split the UI and let's say new users, users or existing users or users who have loyalty card or who don't have loyalty card and then the flows would split pre-populating different uh, input fields or kind of like split even to different pages which we're going to cover next but for now let's say just let's focus on this specific case and I think you can adapt the same type of ideas you know later on. But imagine that let's say they want to upload a file or submit a file. How we can solve it? The easiest way is to add another dynamic panel. And I'll show you what I mean really quick. I could just select all those files I had before. I could just create a dynamic panel within a dynamic panel like this, dynamic panel section, and just name it uh, radio selections. If I click through and isolate it, I have the radio selections and I can, you know, I have a default state, let's say, which doesn't have anything selected. I can duplicate the state and have first selected. And then what I would do, I would have a second one, second selected. Now I have three different options and all of them still have the same content. So I need to change it. So let's say in this one, I don't even want to show anything. So nothing is selected. In the second state, where first is selected, I want to select by default. I would just choose that it's selected. Um, and let's say drag that file location window there. So let's say it's, it's obvious to the user that it's um, part of a submit -a link flow. Now in the next one, I'm gonna do exactly the same having you know, first one active, I need to make the second one active. I'm gonna mark it as selected. So now upload file is selected. And as you can see, we have those examples. Nothing is selected, first is selected, third is selected. We're basically having different content. Depending on what user clicks, we're gonna display that content in that slide. And that's the easiest way to actually split the flow in contextual ways. Instead of that, I would need for this case, something like browse. I think that's quite clear to the user what's going to happen. What, need, what needs to happen next is that we need to add some hotspots. There are other ways to do this. Uh, again, this is, I think, the easiest, at least for myself, from years of experience of Axure. I think I would just add two different hotspots on top of a thing, which is a widget I introduced to you in other videos, if you followed. Um, and I would add interaction saying that on click of this hotspot, please set the panel state of radio selection into the first. Now I can actually just delete the second and just copy this by and changing the parameter here into the second. And that would basically fulfill our needs. However, we need to keep in mind that let's say if we preview and users follow through and select first one, as you can see it appears, but now we select second one, nothing really happens and it breaks. So what we need to do in this case is actually copy those links into different states across and just place them there. 
So that doesn't matter what, doesn't matter what state you are on. If you click on it, it just, you know, it takes you where you're supposed to be. And let me show you how it works. So now we added hotspots. And as you can see, there is that toggle. And the users would actually wouldn't really know, you know, that it's not real, that it's smoke and mirrors. But that's how you build the contextual side of things. I uh, hope this video was useful. In the next one, I'm going to talk to you about the validation of the forms and displaying error messages, seeing that the data is there, that the input fields are not empty. So stay tuned for that. If this is too basic, skip ahead. If you're not sure what we're talking about, go back a little bit. If you have any comments, leave down below. Leave a, leave a like, subscribe to this channel. If you're new to this, I really appreciate it and see you next time.